We do not allow one of those movements to go up. So therefore, the city has no possible way of having tax them because there was no tax like that. So they don't have documentation. They pull the picture out of us and call them or whatever, but they don't have documentation. In fact, we have documentation that shows that there was no tax like that. But they're no longer uh, here to keep the peace, they're here to enforce. Yeah, it's all right. So, I don't want to ever hear from them, oh, we're not enforcing. Mm -hmm. Really? We're here to keep the peace with shotgun shells, tasers, and pistols. And violence. What's their number and do you have the mayor's number? I don't have the mayor's number. I can get you I or we call it a PSA. Sorry. Okay. Um, P PSO. That's uh, and can I also get the uh, police number as well? So I gotta look. I don't know what yeah. this is. For the commission, please please. You have something to write with? I got something to write with, but. 547? 75? 75? 82. 82. So now there are times of operation 745 to 4 30. 945 to 4 30. Good, sir. Okay, and Mike tonight? Three two? Three two. Three two. Same hour. Same hour. Okay. Cool. And then uh yeah, can I uh call the report? Uh you call eight one sixteen. What's name? R O S. He is the boy. Bar. Mm hmm. Get a NFY two seven one. We're just here for the safety. Well, no, you enforce today. Right, but yeah. I mean, when we're getting kicked in the head and pushed, you're enforcing. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm just wondering, uh, you know, like, how, how is that legit, right? Because, uh, you know, according to the law, right, they're supposed to be tagging each item, right? And also, according to the law, those items should be on, should be stored uh, on public property for longer than 24 hours before they get tagged. So, uh, you know, the artist that painted that painting, he painted it yesterday, you know what I mean, uh, after this hour yesterday, you know what I mean? So, there's no way it could have been tagged yesterday. You know, all those manner materials, there's no way they could have been tagged yesterday. Uh, 
And, uh, I will, I, and I'm going to probably file a, another report uh, at a later time against the city and county of Honolulu for, uh, what's this called, when they uh, come to uh, stifle protests because I believe that they are aware that they're actually going to tomorrow and they came down here to take our stuff. And they did. They took all of their bags. Section 3 and 4 of the state constitution. That is a good uh, Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's a First Amendment. They can't take any of that stuff that was in that. I mean, based on First Amendment stuff alone, you know what I mean? That was all signage. That was all political um, signage and stuff. So, how, you know, so that's what I want to know, how they can justify taking that kind of stuff. Well, like I told you, I'm just here for the safety reason. So is there, a, is there a police officer that will be able to answer that question? Chief of Police, perhaps? Uh, pretty much we pay the same thing. Um, is there, how do I go about these things? It's cheap. You'd have to go through, because I've actually, try, uh, you know, tried to make an appointment with them. We're writing a letter. We're just trying to write a letter. Is that more, uh, it would be more formal. Getting an uh, actual appointment, maybe you could go through the letter first. No, he doesn't want to do that. Picture you in my position. I 
illegally. Now, if, if they set my stuff legally based on their own law, you know, if I left up a tent, if I fucked up, that's my bad. And I'm not going to give you guys or them any shit for it. That's my bad. But this is not my bad. This is their bad. They broke the law. And, you know, and I feel it's your bad and every other officer out here is bad who refuses to enforce that based on their own law. You see what I'm saying? Like, I mean, how... How can you cruise around in this uniform saying, you know, like you want to do good? You know what I mean? That's what you think you're going to do, right? And, and you're not going to do what's right. This is not about me doing what's right. No, it is. So we're talking about, we're talking about your discretion, right? And I'm, talk, I'm talking about you using your discretion to arrest me for breaking the law. So that's what, it doesn't matter of right and wrong. What do you feel is right and wrong? We're talking about your discretion. No, I, but I have different paperwork. I, 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 it's not even paperwork. I have video, I have video footage with the time date stamp on it showing that there was no blue tent like that. Oh, so therefore they cannot have taken it. They cannot have, they couldn't take it because it couldn't have been tagged because there was no tent to tag. I mean, and I'm saying, based on their own documentation, if, if I were to get a hold of their video tape footage, you would see for yourself that there was no blue tent there. So based on their own documentation, sure they have a picture of that tent. It's been up 14 different times. You know what I mean? There's, we have something like five different ones that look exactly like that. Sure, sure they got a picture of it, but that don't mean shit. We've got video evidence. Ours and theirs. We got five cameras on them, like proving that that tent wasn't up. So that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? They're breaking the law. I mean, <laughs> we have video surveillance, we have constant surveillance of that tent being set up. No one tagged it. Constant surveillance. No, not constant, but I got I got surveillance showing that they uh, came by and that tent was not up. Actually, we do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. We are. We're under constant surveillance. You can look it up online. It's constant surveillance. They got that camera pointed right at us 24-7. The one that's on that pole there. It's pointed at us, the traffic cam. That's supposed to be on traffic. It hasn't been on traffic for five months. Yeah, it's be pointing this out to the office. But yeah, you can monitor us all the time if you like. <laughs> We're transparent. Right? <laughs> but no, but that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? It's like, dude's breaking the law. We have proof. If I didn't have proof, I wouldn't be giving you so much shit. But we do have proof. But, but you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm telling you, you know what I mean? I mean, you have to do something. I mean, yeah, I'm mean, generating the report. <laughs> we've, we've got a dozen reports. You know what I mean? That's how, I mean, this guy needs to okay. get more than a, you know, a notice saying a report was filed. You know what I mean? Like, I want my shit back. If I don't get my shit back, no, fuck that. I want my shit back, and I, I believe that that guy should be arrested. But I'll I'll be happy if I just get my shit back. We'll arrest. We'll have him arrested later. But yeah, I want my shit back or that guy arrested or both. Yeah. No, it's not. It's, it's not even an option of that. Okay. First of all, you know, the last time they came and took our shit, it took them um, something. What was it? Two months. Yeah. We're supposed to be able to get back in, in 30 days. It took them um, two months to agree to give us our shit back. Even though I've got documentation of, I've got receipts of my stuff. I've got pictures of me holding my stuff. I would, you know, what I mean, I've got all the documentation, and I've got West Chun. Asshole, I'm asking you to arrest. I got this guy telling me, sorry, your documentation is enough. How are you going to come in and say people shit, okay? And, and within the law, say, oh, don't worry, we'll give it back. And then, you know, and just not ever give it back. And, and try and fucking auction it off. With receipts. Yeah. We've got That's the big thing. You know what I'm saying? This is just this is outrageous. If we're fucking up, by all, by all means, arrest us. But we're not fucking up. We're not breaking the law. That dude's breaking the law. See what I'm saying? So, who do I gotta talk to to get that dude arrested? A 
citation, anything. Uh, this, is, this is not good thought. I intended to go down to the court uh, today to file a restraining order against him for assault. Yeah, that was it yesterday's was just, It wasn't deal. properly handled. He should have never been allowed to come back. Ugh. Yesterday, he took in used physical violence on people directly. In the presence of And then today, one of your officers starts kicking people in the head and pushing them. So, it needs to be handled. <laughs> This is ongoing. So this much. is what the police department is doing against us. When you guys see signs, it's not on every individual, but as a department, when the whole department is allowing the the city to steal stuff, use violence, do all this, why do you think the signs and why the rest of the nation is going in an uproar? Because stuff like that's happening left and right. We stand there. We've been there many times and watched them just stand there while they're doing their jobs. Every once in a while, you hear us start screaming and shouting. It's usually because something's wrong. You know, when we're woken up by...